Today, you will learn how to make your MacBook go from looking like this to this. And if you finish this video, you will learn all of the essential tips that you need to know to make the Mac the most productive computer possible. The first thing that I change on my MacBook is the system preferences. First, we're gonna go to displays and then change the resolution to scaled and then click on more space so I can maximize the space for apps on these smaller laptop screens. If you do own an iPad, it is worth turning on universal control so that you can control your iPad with your Mac's trackpad and keyboard. Under general settings, if you prefer using your MacBook in dark mode, you can change it here. I actually like to leave it on auto because I prefer having light mode during the day. I just think it looks pretty good. These new MacBook Airs do have Touch ID and it is worth adding multiple fingerprints. I usually do both of my index fingers and a middle finger. That way I have flexibility to unlock the laptop. There are a few more critical system preferences that we do need to change, but once we're done, we can get to the fun part where we can aesthetically change the way that our MacBook looks. And if you do own an Apple Watch like me, it is worth going to security and privacy and then enabling use your Apple Watch to unlock apps and your Mac. In my honest opinion, this actually works faster to unlock your Mac than Touch ID. The next thing that I want to do is clean up your dock. Right click on each app that you want to remove from the dock and then go to options and then uncheck keep in dock. Feel free to change the size of the dock as well. I shrink mine to be relatively small and then turn on magnification and then raise it to the middle. You get this excellent magnifying effect that I really like. Make sure to also check off minimize windows into application icon. If you don't, your dock will be absolutely crowded with a ton of apps every time you minimize something. By turning this on, you're actually going to force macOS to minimize every window into each individual icon instead of making multiple ones. You can also change what is shown in your menu bar by going through each tab. I always keep Wi-Fi and battery shown on the menu bar and then I uncheck everything else. I just like to keep it pretty clean. And speaking of battery, scroll down to the heading called other modules and click on battery, then press show percentage. Thank me later. Next, go to mission control, then press on hot corners. We can actually move our mouse to each corner to activate something in Mac OS. In our case, I found that the most useful ones was dragging my mouse to the top left to turn on the screensaver and dragging my mouse to the top right to activate the ability to see my desktop quickly. The next thing that you're going to want to do is go to accessibility and then scroll to the pointer control and then press trackpad options and then turn on three finger drag. This will allow you to drag windows across your MacBook screen with just three fingers instead of having to physically press the trackpad. Next, go to users and groups and then add an icon icon for your login. I actually personally have been using a Memoji lately. Don't judge me. I think they're super cute. Look at mine. It's awesome. Recommend you do the same. Okay, so now that our system preferences are now in order, let's go ahead and make this MacBook look pretty. Let's start by actually changing the desktop wallpaper first. I have linked the one that I used in the description down below, but feel free to use any one to your liking. As for screensavers, I am constantly switching between the Monterey one and this one that I downloaded from the App Store called Flip Clock which basically turns your MacBook into this big clock when it's not in use. It's pretty cool. As for the widgets that I use, I make use of an app called Widget Wall, and they are beautifully designed. I make use of their time and date stamp, their weather one, and also a sticky note widget, which I love to use. Recommend you guys give it a try. I put one to three goals that I have for the day. That way it's a friendly reminder of what I need to accomplish. Okay, so now I want to talk about a couple of apps that have actually vastly improved my experience on Mac OS, and I believe it will do the same for you. The first app that I always install on every single Mac I get is Clean My Mac X. It's an all-in-one cleaning tool to keep your Mac running as fast as possible. I've been using this app for about two years now, and they have a new dashboard update that shows you recommendations for what you should do to keep your Mac running quickly. It also shows you a high level view of your battery percentage, your RAM usage, CPU usage, as well as how much storage is remaining. They are the sponsor of today's video. So if you guys are interested in keeping your MacBook running as quickly as possible, click the link in the top of the description down below to get started today. If you're coming from a Windows computer, there is a window management app called magnet that is awesome. It allows you to drag and snap windows into place for better productivity, which is something that you're probably very used to on Windows, but sadly you cannot do on the Mac. I will also leave a link to a free alternative called Rectangle that does the exact same window snapping thing in the description down below. This next app has genuinely impacted my productivity the most, and it's called Session. It's a Pomodoro timer that helps you focus on your work within 25 minute intervals with five minute breaks in between. And what 
makes this one different than other Pomodoro apps is that it actually has tracking features and shows you how your productivity has changed over time. This next app is a password manager known as 1Password, and it essentially creates and stores all of your login credentials for every password that you log into. I couldn't be bothered to remember all of my passwords for all the stuff that I log into, so this has been life-changing for me. Now I want to do a rapid fire of the most useful Mac OS keyboard shortcuts to make your life just a little bit easier when you navigate the system. If you press Command H, it will automatically hide any active windows on your screen. Command W will close an active tab that you're on without closing Safari. Command Shift T will actually reopen a tab that you accidentally closed, so very useful. Command Spacebar gives you access to Spotlight Search, which essentially allows you to search for any file on your computer, anything on Safari, as well as even use it as a calculator. Now I want to talk about Finder, which is Apple's file management system. It's really great out of the box, but there are a few couple of things we should change to make it just a little bit more useful for our daily workflows on our computer. So you want to open Finder and then click on View and then press View as Columns, and then it'll let you actually see the flow of the files that you press into. If you go back to View again under Finder and then press Show Path Bar and Show Status Bar, this will show you the file path on the bottom and give you more helpful information about your files and your MacBook. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and comment hashtag MacBook if you finish the video, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.